Maggie? <gasps> Shit! Oh! Oh, I didn't know whether to knock on that. Sorry. Sorry. What's happened? Um, he says me in. No, no, yeah, she's asleep. What's happening? Oh, we had a fire. Jesus. Are you on your own? No, I'm with Parnell. OK, where is... He? Is everyone all right? Uh, yeah, yeah, do you think we should wake Esme up? I thought it was going to be warm. No, it gets away. Dave, should I go and get him? What, no, it's all right, it's, okay. it's, it's fine. Oh, you sure? Yeah, it's easier. All right. Um, it's parked out by the gate. Do I need to move it? No, we can do that later. Just, um... I'm gonna get Parnell, you just chill out here, yeah? Alright. I hope it's up to tea and coffee. Um, actually, the cat's pretty loud. Oh, is it? I'll grab the water. What's up? Nothing. You look a bit lost, mate. Your mum's wondering where you are. She left me in the car. What happened with this fire, then? That's fire. Where were you? Shh. Your sister's asleep. You left me in the car. You didn't look like you wanted waking up. Oh. Alfie, what's going on? Who's downstairs? It's your mum. <laughs> Fuck off. What? You're joking. Nope, she's downstairs. What are you on about? Why? What the fuck? My brother's here too. Who, Parnell? Yeah. Marty's not here. No, just your mum and Parnell. Wait, wait, wait. I don't, I don't get it. Why, why are they here? Well, there was a fire, apparently. What? Are you serious? Wait, that doesn't even make any sense. Why would they come all this way? Calm down, Esme. <sighs> Leave you to it. No, no. Wait, don't leave me. Okay. Hi. How are you both? Good. Is, uh, Everything OK? We had a fire. Yeah, um, Alfie said, I'm not sure I quite understand. Understand what? Well, it's such a long way to come. Maybe you should have rang first. Oh, both fair. The batteries were dead. Have you, uh, offered everyone a drink, Alfie? Are you both right for a drink? Yeah, no, no, we both have a drink. So, uh, how did you get here? Oh, it's my family. I didn't know you had a car. No, Janet, uh, lent us hers. And there, there wasn't an option to stay at Janet's, no? Yes. Well, I didn't want to bother her. So Janet let you take the car, drive across the channel in the middle of the night, but you couldn't stop on her sofa? She's only got that small flat. How bad was it? How bad was what? The fire. 
How bad was it? Was it contained or did neighbours have to be moved well, on? No, no, it weren't a big fire, but it was your water damage. The water damage. Well, I so see you managed to pack before it all kicked off. Oh, Jesus. Why are you here? I don't know. Maybe this wasn't a good idea. And why the fuck would you think it was? Do you know what? What? I tried. Don't worry, she won't have gone anywhere. She just likes the drama. So, what's going on? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing's going on. I don't know. Okay. How are you? Can I have a hug? Nothing's going to happen, Chuck. What? You've got nothing to worry about. No, you don't understand. They're hey. going to kill me. Hey. Don't you be daft, son. No one's going to do anything like that. You hear me? I didn't even do anything wrong. Exactly. What? You haven't done anything. You've done everything right. We've not gone to the police. Malk's the first person we'd called. Right? There's nothing to worry about, right? And you won't let them hurt me. <laughs> no one's going to hurt you. Mm. Yeah. Is that John? Oh, he's with me, Kev. Don't worry. I told you not to bring him here, though. Oh, it's all right. He's waiting outside. You're the first person he talked to. You know him. Everyone just wants to know what happened. I don't like him being right outside the door. It makes me nervous. Kev, I'm here, right? Nothing's gonna kick off. And the lad's done nothing wrong, all right? Just go on easy, all right? He's a good lad. Yeah, all right. Oh, it's been a shitty night for him, too. Just go easy. Yeah. All right. No one's in trouble. We're all just talking, right? Just tell the truth, son. Who put this together, Mum? How did this happen? I'm too tired to lie to you, so can we just drop it? There you go. Hey, I've missed you, you know. You must be tired, too. Alfie's gonna set you up with one of the guest rooms so you can get some sleep, OK? You're sending me to bed now. Jesus, Mum, what? Well, I'm sorry we're bothering you. I thought we'd be welcome. You are welcome, Mum, but you call first. You ask to stay or you get invited, like normal people. Guess we're not normal, are we? OK. I'm going to go to work, get some sleep. Alfie's going to give you whatever you need, yeah? Thanks. What? Um, where's Marty? I don't know, is he? He's not planning on showing up too, is he? No. Boise, two seconds, mate. Boise, what's going on? What is this for real? Yeah, 
Out the back. Out the back. I'm not having this shit in my house. You alright, mate? That's what? Oh, Jesus. I don't think that's a good idea, mate. Why? Well, I've got the kids upstairs. Come outside then. Don't leave me out here. I'll fucking come. Open the fucking door. All right, all right, all right. Hey, 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 there's no need for this. Money for what? Why won't you open the door for him? He's not even here. Who's not this here? This is out of order. You don't just barge in our house. That's all right, Debs. We'll be out in a sec. Hey, he's not here. Then why won't you open the fucking door for him? Because I don't want you in my fucking house, mate. So where is it? I told you, he's not here. He's not here, Mal. Let's have a look upstairs, eh? Oi, no, don't do that. The kids are in here. Leave it alone. Shut up. Sal, for sake, Sal, he's not here. Leave it alone. Mark, mate, what the fuck? It's got fuck all to do with me, mate. You're in my fucking house. It's all right. Stay there. Stay there. It's all right, kids. For fuck's sake, you're out of order. Sal's, mate, there's no need for this. He's not even here. So where is he then? I told you, I swear, I haven't seen him. Can you just leave now, Mark? John, he's my mate, yeah? <laughs> no! Don't! He hasn't done anything! Look, he's gone. He was here, but he left. Oh, so he was here? Half an hour ago. Stop <laughs> it! Where's he gone then, Deb? I don't know. Please! I swear to fucking God, I will burn this place down with your kids in it. <laughs> Fuck's sake, he went over the back fence. When? Literally a fucking minute ago! John! John! Get the fuck <laughs> out of my house now! <clears throat> All right, fair enough. Leave the fucking what? two! I'm not having this shit around my kids, you and your fucking friends. What? All right, kids. Settle them down if you want. No, we, we don't need to do that. Voice is Sam, right? It's just. I don't want anyone turning. Hello, we're just knocking on doors, mate. Yeah, but you know what happens if I get caught knocking on doors, right? You know what happens if I get seen in a car with you? You know what, mate? I don't really want to talk about it right now. These fucking cunts. fucking. I need to find these fucking cunts. It's a cupboard. Yeah, it's your cupboard. <laughs> I'll get um, bills, rings of towels and bedding and stuff later on. Thanks. I'll show you your room, Maggie. Yeah, fine. Here we are. Fucking hell, it's beautiful. Oh, sorry, it's part of my French. So it's all right, I'm fluent. <sighs> Is it far into town? No, it's like a ten minute walk, something like that. <sighs> There's plenty of stuff in the fridge, food, whatever, whatever you need. Oh, thanks. I've got some work to do, so I'm gonna get on with it. All right. Cool. A bit. See you later. Bye. When can I have my phone back? I told you, you can't have your phone back. Why? Because I don't want you calling anyone. Really, though? I need to tell you why. No. OK. We need to 
talk about Marty, though. Fuck Marty. Hmm? Fuck him, he's on his own now. Why would you say that? Why would I say what? Look at the position he's put us in. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't I? Why'd you bring us here? We're safe here. You think? Quick, hide the joint, hide the joint, it's the feds. Got your bedding sorted. Sorry, yeah, that's okay. I'm just popping out. You're going to look after the customer? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, it's quite big and hopefully it will get bigger the year after. I mean, the idea is to get less tourists and more, like, real people. The tourists, not real people, though. Well, yeah, but... We want the place to be more of a permanent residence. It's self-sufficient. What are you going to have a beer? Just the one, though. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, how's everyone? Oh, hello. I'm Maggie. Bill. Alfie's dead. On occasion. <laughs> I thought you might want something to keep you occupied while you're staying. Oh, thank you. That's nice. This is Esme's mum. I guessed. And her brother Parnell. I'm Bill. Nice to meet you. Do you reckon that thing still works? Well, if you're lucky, I'll feel I have some decent games buried away somewhere. Where are you going? Sorry. Don't go far. It's a bit like, um, hamster food. <laughs> it does taste a bit like hamster food. Well, depending on how long you stay, I'll make you something nice one night. Well, a proper meal. Chilly, eh? Fucking freezing. Do you need an extra layer? I'm all right, thanks. Stick with the roadman look, eh? Look, mate, don't strain yourself. Wherever you're heading, head on. Got no friends, have you? Brought them all with you. I doubt you brought any more of that other stuff, either. If you need any more, swing by my place. And don't worry, I won't tell your mum. My mum's not the one I'm worried about, it's my sister. She is the strict one, all right. I was just leaving. Don't let me get in your way. It's 
settling in then. Have a beer? I don't drink. Sorry, force of habit. You right? Mm-hmm. Is everyone okay? Alfie. <laughs> <laughs> Now that the whole gang's back together, all we're missing is Monopoly. Should we see if we can get this thing set up? Yeah, it can do. Guess I'm staying here then. Let's go upstairs. Can I bring my drink? Don't need my permission, Mum. Photos around the house. We'll have to get some of us. Yeah, Alfie loves a photo. I've never really been that bothered. That comes. I don't know. You never had any photos around the house. Do you love it? Okay. So there's no judgment in this space. Okay. This place is a place of honesty. Yeah, so let's not talk about this whole fire because it's hurtful to me when I know you're lying and I think we should avoid being hurtful to you. I'm lying. Mum. You don't know I'm lying. OK. Let's just forget about that. I'm really trying to make this non-confrontational. But you are being confrontational. You just called me a liar. But you did lie. Maybe, but you don't know I lied, do I? You said you know I lied. You didn't. You're guessing. And that means you're judging me. Okay, but let's just start again. Fine, just don't call me a liar. Fine, I won't. Don't lie. <sighs> Parnell went out with Marty last night and they got into a fight. And all I know is that Marty's gift is killer really good eyes in. And now his brother's after him and well, it sounds like he wants to give Parnell a dig and all. OK. But I didn't want Parnell getting a beating because of what Marty had done, so I thought the best thing to do was just to get him away from there. And how long do you think before this all gets sorted out? You mean how long do you think we'll be staying? <laughs> I don't think that's an unreasonable question. I don't know. I, you know, I, I'll find somewhere for us. I just need tonight, maybe tomorrow. What? Nothing. Well, you want to say something, so go on. I just don't understand why you're letting Parnell hang out with Marty in the first place. Parnell's 16, he can hang out with who he wants, and Marty is his brother. Yeah, but Marty's bad news, Mum. Marty and all his little mates. What do you mean Marty and all his little mates? Do not know anything about Marty? I don't know anything about Marty. Is your brother and all? No. I don't care. He's nasty and he always has been. He's my son. Oh, isn't he just? Can I go now? I really don't know what Eve did to you. No, you really don't. I can't stay here. As they're your family. I don't care. 
The last thing we want is them getting comfortable or thinking they can stay here indefinitely. Do you think there's more to the story than they're telling us? There's always more to the story with Maggie. Right. Bye, friend. to work, you know. Hmm? We could stay here. Why? I don't know. We could talk. What are we going to talk about? Anything, Pony. I feel like we haven't talked in ages. We haven't talked in ages. All right, fair enough. We used to talk all the time. When? When you were little. You used to sit on my lap and name as many dinosaurs as you could. Yeah, I don't remember that. I thought there were three of them. Three of what? Three kids. Mine's not with them. Well, it's good to finally get to meet them, I suppose. I always thought she was keeping us on the wraps. Was that Esme? No. Oh, I need a shit. How is Esme? No, she's fine. Why? There's a lot of tension in that family unit. It must be difficult. Let me worry about Esme, yeah? It's <laughs> a phantom shit. Excuse me, what are you doing in here? Looking for my phone. I told you, you're not having your phone. I want to talk to Marty. This shit's doing my fucking head in. Oi, watch what you're saying. Where is it? In the car? No. Uh, don't keep on about the fucking phone and Marty. Why are you being such a cunt? Oi, excuse me. I want my phone. Don't talk to me like I'm one of your little fucking pals. Yeah, what are you going to do about it? I'm your mum. Yeah, seriously, what are you yeah. going to do? What the fuck are you going to do about it? Exactly. Where are you going? Wherever the fuck I want. It's not in the car. I threw it away. On the drive down here, I threw it in a skip with your clothes. What for? Well, I don't know. I thought it was the best thing to do. The phone is with my clothes. You're a fucking idiot. Morning. What are you doing skulking around? I was going to see about getting some of that gear off you. You want to be friends then? You asked me to come. As you know, I'll forget about it. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Can you roll? Yeah. You can join me on my walk. What now? Unless you have any other plans. Where are you going? Just through the woods. You can keep me company. Wait, why do you need my company? Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm just bowled over by your overwhelming charm. You coming? <laughs> you right? What you up to? Work. I'm bored. <laughs> I can't help you down, I'm afraid. It was a lovely day outside. 
going to enjoy the sun. I hate the sun. You hate the sun? Jump in the pool? I can't swim, I don't like water. You live by the sea. <laughs> You're having a laugh, aren't you? No one swims in that. <laughs> Get all this shit that comes down from the Thames. Okay, I'm running some errands in town later. You can come with me? Yeah, please. Yeah, anything. Okay. Okay, I'm just going to crack on. So what's your problem with shoes? Nothing. I love shoes. I just really love the feeling, you know? Your feet connecting with the earth. Energises yourself. You should give it a go. I'm all right, thanks. No, 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 it's okay. I'll call him if I feel faint or anything. Where are we going, man? This is long. All I want from her is a consistent mood, you know? Well, if they were consistent, they wouldn't be called moods. Yeah, I suppose not. She's always been a stress head. Some people just like the drama. She's been working really hard on herself. She's changed a lot. You think? Yeah, for the better. She certainly thinks she's better than me. I don't think that's true. I don't think people really change anyway. Why? Well, I don't. They just hide bits of themselves. What's the difference? If your attitudes are different, your relationships. Well, because it's always still there inside you, waiting to pop the fuck back up. I don't think people are finite. I think you have the capacity to change your brain. I'm too old for that. I'm carved in stone, thoughts and all. No one's ever too old. Well, you're not that far behind me. I wouldn't go that far. Hey, yeah. <laughs> not if you're yet. It's good to know. <laughs> oh, I do miss clubbing, though. Oh, like properly clubbing. Were you into all that? Me? No, no, not really. God, I was. We used to go out Friday night and come home Monday morning. It's pretty hardcore. We only get one go around. Yeah, I suppose.
Log flume. It's two words. Hyphenated. Nice. No, two words. Falafel. Falafel. I couldn't sleep the other night, so I went for a walk and uh, came by your place. Yeah? Mm. You had some strange noises coming out of there. Yeah? Yeah, like, like singing. Like... <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was weird. What was it? That's a medicine song. What the fuck's a medicine song? Song you use uh, during a, a healing ceremony. So what's a healing ceremony? Oh. Well, that's a good question. So I spent some time in a village in Brazil. Way, way, way in the jungle. And this tribe have a tradition that all the young men, when they reached a certain age, maybe the same age as yourself, they would head off into the jungle for weeks, sometimes months on end, on these long hunts. Kind of like a, a rite of passage. And they would take a shaman with them. What's a shaman? Kind of a, a medicine man, a witch doctor, if you will. So sometimes they would get lost. And when they got lost, they would turn to the shaman. And the shaman would give them this medicine, perform a ceremony, and they would find their way home. So over time, the tribe started to use this medicine as part of everything they did, not just hunting. So if someone felt lost, they would take the medicine, take part in the ceremony, and try and find their way home. Can you go inside, please? I need to talk to my mum. Yeah, all right. Is that Marty? What is what, Marty? Read the fucking article. Just a slap, huh? Just a fight. There's nothing to do with Marty. Don't lie to me. We're going to the police. What are you talking about? Me, you and Parnell, we're going to the police now. Look, I think you need to calm down. I don't need to calm down, Maggie. Ring them. No. Ah, uh, oh, what's this about? Is it because I've been out for a drink with your boyfriend? What? Are you fucking insane? This isn't a trivial thing. You can't stay here. It's not safe. Ring them. No. Then I will. No. What? Fuck. 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 Whoa, 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 whoa. So your fucking misses out, mate. Maggie, don't hit people like that, as you're right. Give me my phone! No! Give me it back! I'll tell you what, carry on now, fucking smash the fucking thing! <gasps> give me your phone. What for? Alfie, Alfie, give me your phone. Let me slow down. This is nothing to do with you, Dad, Bill. please. Give me your phone, Alfie. As... No! No, Esme, don't stop! Look, 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 we talk, all right? You and me go somewhere and we talk together. Just you and me. What? So you can take another swipe at me again? No! No, thanks, you're a fucking nutcase. Am I? I'm gonna call the police and there's fuck all you can do about it. Tell you what, you say that and you run for fuck fuck fucking... So what's your plan then, huh? My plan? Do I look like someone who's got a fucking plan? Well, either way, Marty's done. 
He's going to go to jail, and if you don't want Parnell to join him, then you're going to take him home so he can tell the police what he knows. That's not going to happen, all right? That's not your decision to make. Well, you can't stay here forever. Parnell. OK. Breathe. Let everyone just take it down, Nikki. Breathe. I am fucking breathing. Nobody's calling the police. Nobody's grabbing each other's phone. We're a family. We converse. We express our ideas in a civilised fashion. Well, I don't feel like talking right now, Bill. Thanks all the same, okay, though, Okay, yeah? okay. Then we depart and we reconvene at a time when we are emotionally available. But before you go, I'm sorry, Maggie. I'm sorry for pressuring you. I'm sorry for shouting at you. I'm sorry for any stress or hurtfulness I have inflicted. I'm sorry I slapped you in the face with your phone. Well done. Alfie. Well, I see you had a productive day then. Well, I had some stuff to do in town and your mum was bored, so I thought I'd take her with me. What took her where? Drinking? Look, she's stressed as. I thought we would let off some steam. She does nothing but let off steam, Alfie. And you seem to be having a fair few drinks since they've arrived as well. <laughs> Between you and your dad... What's he done? They've both come back, stoned off their heads, cheeks swollen up over their eyes like some bloody Eskimos. <laughs> it's not fucking funny, it's Alfie. Funny. It's, they're not on holiday. No, I understand. I don't actually think you do. What, who's this? That's Marty. It's my brother. My closest to Kurt. Flat number. What? What's the flat's number? I'll go up. I don't think that's the best idea, mate. Nah, I'm done sitting in a car. Tell me the number, I'm going up. Well, you know, like, let's just do what we've been doing, right? Until we get a grip on what happened. I've got a grip on what happened. All right, let's not get excited, John. I'm not excited. Then we should go up together, yeah? Nah. Nah. You can sit here like I've been. Sat here like a fucking dog with a window down. Tell me the number, I'm going up. Just wait two minutes, John, for fuck's sake. Listen, give me the fucking... Just give me the fucking number! All right, it's flat 27. Fucking thank you. I don't think it's the best idea, though, John.
It's okay. Jesus, what the fuck was that? What were you doing? You fucking little cunt. No, get off him! Talk. Yeah, sure. Look, I'm sorry about all this. Don't worry about it. No, I see it gets to your ass being there. I never said that. Yeah, but I see it. I don't know. I know it's not a good situation. I mean, the longer you hide, the worse it gets. Do you understand that? I don't want to go to jail. And you won't have to. As long as you tell the police what you know. What, snitch on Marty? What Marty's done is wrong. You don't know that. A boy's dead, partner. That can only be wrong. Yeah, and if Marty didn't do what he did, I'd be dead. So what you're saying is self-defense? A boy was stabbed 23 times. Yeah, it's easy to judge where you're from now you're in your little walled off world. You know what you sound like? You sound like one of them politicians who's happy to bomb some little village in Afghanistan and call it self defense. But when it comes down to some little kid on street level with a knife trying to defend themselves, nah. Scum, criminals, put them in jail and throw away the key. There's always another option. Oh, and what would that be? Leave? Why not? Oh, and where would I go here? Yeah. Look at your face. The idea terrifies you. You don't have any idea how hard it is to have all this shit dropped on you. I have a life here. And I worked hard to get away. Yeah, and you couldn't wait to leave. That's not fair. You know what? Don't talk about mine because he looked after me long after you left. Geezer, cheers for this, man. But don't start. I'm sick, Miss Mate. It means a lot. You're a fucking lifesaver. Listen, I don't want to know. I ain't gonna pretend this ain't a colossal fucking inconvenience, because it is. You're not welcome, and it's not cool. But I don't have much of a choice now, do I? Hey, fucking hell. Look, like, I'm heading out now. I'll be back at six in the morning. When I get back, do not fucking be here. Jammer. Do not fucking be here. I've got my daughter tomorrow. I need you out of here if I want to get back. It's that simple. Well, then you tell him, man. Listen, I've known you a long time. You don't ever come into my fucking house again, throwing your weight around. I don't care who you're with. I've got a daughter tomorrow, and that's that. All right, all right, fuck it. Uh, what time is she gonna be here? My mum drops off at eight in the morning. We'll be gone by seven. 
We'll be gone by seven. Make sure. I'm not staying here tonight, just so you know, yeah? Well, that's probably a good idea. But I will be back at seven in the morning. Do not be here when I get back. You won't, man. Trust me. All right. Make sure. Come. Thank you. How's Jamal? Jamal sound, mate. Look, I'll straighten everything out when he gets back. Um, he won't be here when he gets back, mate. Well, he's going to be out all night. I think he's for the best, you know? Avoid tensions and whatnot. I'd rather him be here, like. Why? Like, where the fuck is he? Do you know what I mean? Like, who's he with? I know who he's chatting to, do I? John. What's Eric saying? Uh, he, he just dropped me a text. And? He says uh, the kid's stopping with his sister. All right. Across the channel. All right. Well, can he get an address? For well, fuck's sake, John, I don't know, yeah? People are not going to be falling over themselves to help us while we're in this state, are they? And what state is that? Huh? What did you think was going to happen? Uh, what did you think I was going to do? I don't know. But now we're in a bind, don't you think it might be an idea to give the young and a pass? No, I don't. Why, is that what you're thinking? Well, we've already got two dead kids on our hands. I know. One of them's my brother. Maybe that's enough. Maybe we're done for now. No, I'm not done yet, son. Little service. Little savory. I'm just thinking. Savory. Must be a hard name to live up to. What the fuck is this? It's a medicine. I drink it when I'm cleansing. You drink it? Mm-hmm. Looks fucking rank. But you don't drink your own piss, do you? Not that I remember. There was this boy I used to go to school with. His parents were like hippies or something. They used to drink their own piss. I think they used to shower on it. I've heard of people doing that. Is it good for you? Heard different things. You got fucking tortured at school. So what's with all the religious books then? You have a problem with religion? No, not really. Just we've got all the teams up here. I thought you had to pick a side. I don't know. Do I? It's all bullshit, really, though, isn't it? All of it. No. Some of it might be useful. 
Like what? Ten Commandments. Do you know them? Thou shalt not do your mate's misses. <laughs> Thou shalt not kill. Can you remember the rest? No. That's about as far as most people get. I'm sure that little list came in handy at some point. In the end, it's just a collection of ideas. I thought it was the word of God. Sure, isn't it all the word of God is what I'm saying now? That God is supposed to be everywhere and part of everything. Is in every action the act of God. Do you believe in God? I don't know. God's just a word. It's a way of describing something that's beyond description. And the Bible is just a book wrote by men. It has some really beautiful ideas in there and not so beautiful ideas. You take what you need and you leave the rest. Do you believe in guilt? Do I believe in guilt? Yeah. Do you not? I don't know, Marty used to say guilt was just the fear of getting caught. Marty said that and you agree? I don't know, really. Take away fear and what have you got left? Maybe empathy drives that guilt. I don't know what that means. You've not heard of empathy before? No, I've heard it. Just don't know what the word means. It's... The idea that you can put yourself in someone's shoes and see the world from their point of view. Isn't that just fear, though? How so? Oh, the only reason you'd put yourself in someone else's shoes is so that you don't, like, hurt or upset them. That's considerate. That's being compassionate. No, that's self-preservation. That's, that's me learning to keep you sweet so you don't fucking eat me. Because that's all anyone's ever afraid of in the end, right? And what are you afraid of? Your brother was in prison, right? Am I? Yeah, young offenders. It ain't pretty. What would you know? Well, I know 18 months isn't the longest of stretches, but it's 18 spent in probably the worst place that you can imagine. Yeah, where? Nepal. Fucking hell. <laughs> That's exactly what it was. Fucking hell. And you want to talk about religion? I grew up with religion all around me, but this place... Yeah, Marty said there were, uh, there were lots of kids converting to Islam and young offenders. Yeah, there was Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, every fucking flavour you can imagine, and some you'd never heard of before. But you see these lads take to religion, you'd see them totally transform. Mm -hmm. You don't think so? Well, they might look transformed, but people can act different. People can put up a front, but you back them into a corner. I suppose. Maybe you're right. You find religion? Me? No. no. But you can't see what I saw and just keep thinking it's all bullshit. The Ten Commandments, the Five Pillars, the Golden Rule. Wherever they come from or whatever they mean to individual people, they speak to something about human nature. Just keep thinking about them boys in that jungle. So, yeah, can I get some of that gear off you? I'm gonna have to think about that, I'm afraid. What do you mean? Oh, I'm blessed with visitors today. I'm gonna go back to ours. Everything okay? Yeah. Should do something later, yeah? Yeah, maybe. You sure? Yeah. I see you got caught in the rain. Yep. Shit. What? Nothing. What are you playing at? What? With Parnell. Nothing. I like the kid. <laughs> what? I just don't think you should be playing games with him, that's all. Is that what I do now? Well, he's not some middle-aged woman with anxiety issues, Dad. I'm aware. He's a kid. And what's your point? It's inappropriate. And when would it be appropriate? When he's a couple of prison terms behind him? Hi, Mum. Hi. Look, I know we've already apologised, but 
I just wanted to say sorry again. It's not easy. What is this? Sorry, it's Janet. I've got to let her know what's going on with the car. Look, I'm sorry. Here's the thing, Bill. It was shit. It was a betrayal of trust, and you took advantage of her. But what really mattered was that at the end of it all, after all this pseudo-spiritual bullshit, you didn't look after her. You didn't help her. Pseudo-spiritual. Is that what it means you to you? You help her, and you end up looking like just another snake oil salesman. The kid's got some real shit to deal with, Dad. Far beyond you. Just leave him alone. What is Maggie? Oh, whose number is this? Oh no, it's not my phone, it's a different sim. Oh, I so are you. Oh yeah. Alright, considering we're hanging in there. I'm so sorry, babe, I don't know what to say. Let's let's find out. Yeah, he's hanging in there. Yeah, well, look, we're just passing our condolences and, and for you too, yeah, we'll send it all out, yeah. Okay. Why'd you say that? Why'd you say, why'd you say condolences? Why'd, I don't understand. Why'd you say pass on her condolences? Um, I, Janet? I, I don't know, Maggie. I, 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 I don't know what you're saying. I, I, what do you mean? You said pass on her love. What's happened? I thought you knew, Maggie. I'm, I'm so sorry. You thought I knew what? Um, I'm really sorry, mate. Don't, please. Please don't. <laughs> Janet! I've not been in touch with you. I feel like I see my way. Mum, Mum, Parnell. The oh, fuck? Maggie, I really thought you knew. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Janet, please tell me he's not dead. What's up with Mum? Oh, she's, um, she's just had a skin full again. Mm. What are you doing here then? What do you want? What do I want? I don't know, Parnell. Maybe I just want my family to be safe. What family? This family? <laughs> oh, don't worry about us. You want your new family to worry about, haven't you? Popping out for a bit, see you both a bit later. Mum! Mum, what? What's happening? Oh, just don't fucking say anything. Yeah, but what am I supposed to say? Oh, nothing. Say nothing. Mum! What's up? Is it too late? It's early enough. Come in. So much noise inside my head. I can't breathe. OK. What do you want to do? Do you want to hang out, smoke a couple of spliffs? It's a nice distraction, but that's about all. I don't it want really a distraction. Is. I want it to stop. Okay. Sit down. Can you help me, Bill? Okay.
こよいAddress if you want. Right on. What about a car? I'll make sure he gets back, okay? He's just jamming his hands up, sir. I'm sorry, John. I'm gonna take your boots off. There, sit down on the uh, sit down on the rug. Medicine takes. You'll have a vision. Right, tripping. A little bit more than that.
or drink it. <coughs> What's that for? In case you're sick. I'm meant to be sick. Try not to talk. Night, Mum.
I just can't explain how I feel. You don't have to explain it. I feel connected. Connected to what? Not everything. I'm sorry if it sounds stupid and everything, but... No, not at all. You know, in Hinduism, there's a philosophy that everyone and everything is linked. Everything is connected. You see, a plant, it's not separate from its environment. It needs the sun, it needs the air, it takes nutrients from the soil. And without the light and the air and the soil, well, it doesn't exist. It's all one system. It's all linked. You seen Mum? Um, I've tried ringing her, but her phone keeps going to answer machine. I'm gonna go out and have a look for her. I'll come. No, 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 that's okay. I'll... No, no, it's fine. I'll come. Okay. She's in the bar. She's charming the locals. I told you. What do you want to do? No, I'll go in and get her. Wait. What's up? Can I speak to you? No, it wasn't Marty, right? What do you mean? What was it, Marty? It was me. It was me, and I'm sorry. I was only supposed to warn him, like, that was the plan. The plan? I only meant to stab him in the fire of the arse, like, nothing, nothing bad. Just, like, damage him. Scare him off, like, put him in his place. But, like, once he hit the floor, I could only think, like, what if he got back up? So I didn't stop. Do you plan? Yeah, I could say Marty put me up to it, but he didn't. I could say Little South was a cunt. But none of that matters, because I did that and I can't take it back. It's weird. Because when I thought it was Marty, all I could feel was anger and hate. <laughs> and now that I know it's you, all I've been is sad and lost. You're my baby brother. <laughs> you were so little. <laughs> oh, God, I don't want it to be true. <laughs> What am I supposed to do now? You don't have to do anything. <laughs> well, what do you want to do? I'm going to go to the police, like you said, like you wanted. I never wanted that. Will you come with me? Of course I will. I just want you to be my sister. Will you just for once be my sister, please? I am your sister. We can go first thing tomorrow, like, Maybe Bill can come. Yeah, if, if that's what you want. Yeah, if that's all right. Of course. If he wants to. Then tell Mum. 
the way. Where have you been? What you said? I haven't said anything. Look, let's just wait till okay. we're back. What's okay? Can't now wait. I killed that boy. I killed little Sam's. You know what you've done, didn't you? You've killed your brother. That's what you've done. What are you talking about? What happened? Just wait. What am I going to do? What am I going to do, Mum? Mum, where's Mike? Go to fucking hell.
there's nowhere else they can be. They've got to be up there. Come on, I don't think it's the best way to go. Mate. What's happened? What? I don't understand. Is he OK? Parnell. Parnell, love. Are you all right? <laughs> Ez, have you seen Dad? He's back there. Thing, you know, and stop everything. Oh, just For stop. God's sake, Jesus Christ. Somebody's been killed up there. Fucking hell. Jesus. <laughs>